hi friends what's this kinter window so here I have uh, there's the entry box and the button by default this button is disabled I will start entering some text here once I reach the fifth character I entered this button is now enabled now I can go on adding and button is enabled I can submit it or whatever I do even if I remove it also the moment I reach below uh, five characters this is disabled again so we'll learn how to do this this is the blank template we are using I just declared that line number four a slightly bigger font to use in our uh, as a entry and over the buttons also and this is the dimension of it and the window we have declared at line number two so now first let's declare one string variable because we are using it the entry we'll use a uh, text variable so for that purpose my str i'm using a string variable string var now it's under my by default it is so let me just put it there now the entry box entry i am giving entry wizard as e1 so i am selling tk dot entry what's my parent window is my underscore w now text variable i am text variable i am what i have declared above my str i am connecting it to this entry now it's time to place it on the grid so i am saying e1 dot grid now row equal to zero because it's the first one column equal to again zero and i am not flushing with the left edge so i am giving pad x as 20 and pad y from the top again sorry here equal to 20 so i have placed the grid uh, sorry the my entry widget now now let's just place the button to the right of it so i will say b1 okay i missed one thing i will give a uh, let me give the font higher font i will be using font one I declared it line number four and BG slightly background just to distinguish I am giving yellow sorry I can't write it inside the grid I have to write it on the top so I am just cut this here I am pasting this fine so B1 my button TK dot button where it is placed my parent window is my underscore W so this is my button so I'll just write some text there you can change whatever you want button now after this button I will by default I will keep the state as disabled unless the user enters five characters it will not be enabled so by default I am keeping it state equal to disabled this option you can see read also more about enable disabled or all this it can be active or normal or disabled this three values it will take so that's what now time to place it on the grid so I am saying grid row equal to zero and column equal to let's say one because it is right of the entry box so i am not putting any pad x pad y value because already left side it will take care so b1 is over now the key is what how i will track what the user has entered so for that i have used the string variable so i am saying this method trace method i am using trace means this will monitor the string variable whenever it changes I, it can monitor whenever it is created or destroyed also but this w means whenever it is written or it is changed what it should do let's run a function here i am not yet written this so i have just given whenever this value of the entry wizard whatever text is there if it changes run this function so here i will write the function now so i am writing the function what this function will this function will be each time you enter a character or anything you change the string variable it will this function will fire so I am saying I am re receiving whatever variables I am you are sending to the function here inside inside that what I will write see uh, I can use because this is a string variable to read the values I will say my str get my str dot get this will read whatever value is you have put it now that's not what i want the length to be greater than four so what i will do len len will give me return me the length of that if it is greater than four already i told it's a if condition so what i will do i will put this inside a if condition so this length is if i am saying if this is true means len is more than uh, four then I will what I, you can do is change the uh, change the configuration so b1 is my button config and I will say state 
equal to normal. See, I am config. I am using. I can change any options, all the uh, uh, or the attributes of the particular uh, widget. So I am telling the, st uh, the you change the state option, which can take these values normal, disable, and active. All this. So I change it to normal. But what happens? That is fine. Once it is greater than four, then the user can delete it also. So I have to monitor that also. For that purpose, okay. Here we'll see once I have saved it. Then I am just running this uh, disabled okay I did some D I S B D I I I missed here mm, so let's just run this yeah here it is so you can see here okay button I had to increase the font size now you can see a b c d e moment I have crossed four this button is enabled but if I will delete it also it will be enabled because I have not written the else condition let's write that and before that this button I will add the font also a slightly bigger font we are using font one okay now let's come back here write a else condition here else I will just copy this line put it here and write that it is disabled that's all so I have written the else condition saved it running it so uh, must be bad option in the font font okay again I did a mistake here sorry here where is my button see here I should not have written I have written in wrong place here I should okay save it running it okay you can see the size font uh, button size has gone up now I am saying a b c d e so button is enabled now now I can delete this button is again disabled so th that is how we can based on our user inputs the button can be managed or based on that the, you can further write function for to run the button that's all friends this was a question so I thought better it to, uh, to uh, put it in here so you can easily understand and if you have any doubts suggestion comments anything on or how to improve this script further put it in the comment section below and we'll respond to it and I'll request you please subscribe and share this video with your friends and request them to subscribe to our channel also and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we post new new videos we frequently do that thank you for watching